In the last few days, pretty much everybody, including their grandma, have been basically speculating about this enormous power outage that happened in Spain and Portugal. The outage on 28th of April that occurred on the entire Iberian Peninsula, interrupting power to pretty much the entire region. And though this also affected additional regions in France and even in North Africa, it was really Portugal and Spain that were affected the most. With the images basically showing us that everything stopped working. Traffic lights, subways, even elevators. And though something somewhat similar happened before in a lot of other countries, including Pakistan in 2023, this was one of the first such major events in Western Europe in recent times. Actually, the last time this happened was back in 2003 in Italy. And as a result of this unusual event, pretty much every major news source tried to speculate about what could have happened. Could this be some kind of a cyber attack? Maybe the Russians? Could this be the result of a fire in France earlier on? Could this be the result of the sudden increase in the renewables such as the solar panels that became extremely popular in Spain in the last decade? Or could this be actually a result of a strange phenomenon or a rare atmospheric phenomenon referred to as induced atmospheric vibrations, which is actually what a lot of articles in the last few days have been trying to discuss. And so in this video, I wanted to kind of give you some of the facts that we know so far, but also provide some more critical information about what we know did not happen, because there's also been quite a lot of misinformation. And I guess let's maybe start with that. Right now we know for a fact that we have no idea what happened. As a matter of fact, none of the electrical companies nor governments currently have any idea exactly what happened, at least as of May 1st, 2025. But based on the reports from several companies, we can basically cross out some of the potential propositions. So for example, one of the first articles in The Guardian suggested that the Portuguese company known as REN, whose website you can find in the description, and the company that provides energy and infrastructure to Portugal, claim that the outage was the result of a rare atmospheric phenomenon that created a severe imbalance in the electric grid. And it was from this report that we heard the phrase induced atmospheric vibrations, which to me personally sounds like one of those explanations from Man in Black, kind of like a cop-out that makes no sense. Although it turns out that this is actually related to another phenomenon we're going to be discussing in a few minutes. However, apparently, Ren later refuted this. They never stated this, this was just reported by The Guardian, and might have been sort of incorrect or misheard by someone else. Then there was a claim that maybe this was actually the overload caused by the sudden increase in renewable energy. Specifically, a sudden increase in solar panels installed across the region. And we know that there was at least one event back in 2019 in the UK that was actually caused by renewable energy. This was the 2019 UK blackout caused by equipment failure on a wind farm. Although here is believed to be the result of a lightning strike that hit the transmission circuit north of London, which actually resulted in a sudden drop of frequency from 50 Hz to 48.8 Hz, resulting in a major shutdown. But in this case, it was really not the renewables as much as the lightning strike. As a matter of fact, something very similar also happened because of a gas power station in Germany. In other words, sometimes weather does actually cause certain problems. As a matter of fact, in this report, based on the observations in the US, we know that 83% of all blackouts were actually the result of different weather events. And there were actually 1,500 blackouts across the US during the 21-year period. And interestingly, the number of such events has been increasing in the last two decades. Although here, this is not entirely the result of the climate change. This is also the result of the increase in complexity in various electric grids, and more importantly, the growth of grids in the last two decades. So there's really no one factor. And this is especially true of the European grid that's become extremely interconnected and interdependent. As a matter of fact, as you can see, European transmission system is basically one huge continent. And so if one of the small regions goes down, it can actually result in a cascading reaction that then shuts down additional regions nearby, which is what a lot of electrical engineers have been actually talking about and think this is exactly what happened here. One of the electrical grids in the continental Europe's synchronous area, known as CISA, seems to have fluctuated way too much, eventually causing the grids to shut down and cause the blackout. And we actually know that something somewhat similar but much smaller happened in 2006 when the German power grid produced a cascading reaction that then affected regions as far as Portugal and Morocco. And on top of this, a lot of modern grids very often react super quickly to any change, resulting in a cascading reaction that's super fast. 
something that in the past would have taken much longer and would only affect a part of a smaller grid. And so in the end this is more of an engineering and modeling issue. Something that European electrical engineers will now have to address. But going back to the original question, what exactly caused this particular blackout? What was the immediate cause for this blackout in Portugal and in Spain? And here we have two more potential culprits. The obvious one was a cyber attack. And right now all of the agencies are basically stating that there seems to be no sign of any cyber attack anywhere. For example, according to the Spanish cybersecurity agency, in Cibe, there seems to be no signs of any attack. Likewise, a previous report that it was basically the fire in southern France turned out to be incorrect too, because there were no reported fires in the area that would affect the grid. Which basically leaves us with that one scenario that was now discussed by a lot of atmospheric scientists. The phenomenon initially referred to as induced atmospheric vibrations. And so let's actually discuss exactly how this might work and why right now this might be the best explanation. And here it's important to understand that when it comes to high voltage and specifically the electrical transmission towers, they're actually quite sensitive to various vibrations and this has to be taken into consideration when designing electrical grids. And these vibrations come in different types. They can be either high amplitude and low frequency or low amplitude and high frequency sometimes referred to as conductor galloping or eolian vibrations, respectively. So basically some of these vibrations can actually be caused by, for example, the wind as it passes across the tower. And this very often does cause a lot of problems for the electric grid. Mostly because, as you probably know, the electricity in the towers has its own frequency. In Europe this is 50 Hz. And so in some cases these vibrations can actually affect the frequency inside the grid, stressing the infrastructure, and obviously potentially causing blackouts. But in most cases electrical engineers take this into account and design these grids in a way where this is kind of cancelled out. But these vibrations can still be changed by sudden extreme changes in for example temperature, pressure or even humidity. And right now this is the hypothesis going around, that basically because of sudden changes in certain regions in Spain, this resulted in wave-like movements and oscillations in the atmosphere, which then changed the vibrations inside the grid causing a large-scale phase shift inside the power cables and eventually leading to the cascade that resulted in a blackout. And this phenomenon is actually very common. For example, the famous gravity waves that you see right here are produced in a very similar way. Here, rising warm air creates a lot of pressure imbalances and generates waves inside the atmosphere resembling enormous ripples. And so in some cases these pressure waves can actually interact with the power grid, causing the transmission lines to suddenly change their frequency. But in order for all of this to basically affect the grid, it has to happen very quickly. Kind of similar to a typical heat wave. And not surprisingly, this is actually what was happening in Spain a couple of days prior. You can actually see these articles about Spain heating up in one of the links in the description. So basically, right now, the biggest culprit is, I guess, um, global warming. Or to be more exact, a sudden heat wave that potentially resulted in this bizarre atmospheric phenomenon that then resulted in a sudden drop of resonance inside the grid, which caused a massive blackout. With all this just being the result of these massive natural vibrations inside the electric lines, but also the result of the complexity of modern power grids and their overall reliance on centralized locations. And so one of the potential solutions that was proposed in one of the recent articles was basically trying to decentralize these systems by creating smaller community microgrids. You can read about this in one of the articles in the description. Although in this case this is just a proposition, not a solution. Because an actual solution in this case would be super expensive. But in the end we still have no idea exactly what happened, we just know one thing. This type of an event actually happened quite a lot of times in the last few years in many locations. You can see the overall list in the description below. And there's never been just one culprit. This could have been the result of fossil fuels, nuclear energy, different types of renewables, or atmospheric events, but in many cases it was really the result of some kind of a mistake in engineering. And because the European region has now become so complex, and the electric grid has become so interdependent, hopefully this event will result in some kind of a change in the future, just to prevent this from happening again, because chances are it will happen again. Especially if in the end we discover that this was indeed the result of massive temperature variations in Spain, as reported by weather channels days prior. But just watch me make another video, like a month later, that basically said that everything I just mentioned was possibly incorrect. Because really a lot of this, right now at least, 
is pure speculation. We don't really have enough facts yet to determine the exact cause. But once we do, we'll discuss this in some of the future videos, especially if this is some kind of an atmospheric event or something related to science. If this was a cyber attack or if this was the result of a fire, then uh, yeah, I'm probably not going to talk about it. Anyway, on that note, thank you for watching, subscribe, come back tomorrow to learn something else, support this channel on Patreon by joining channel membership or by buying the wonderful person t-shirt you can find in the description. Stay wonderful, I'll see you tomorrow, and as always, bye-bye.